and God will make a way. Hello, my dear friends. Welcome once again to the Voice of Hope. This is Pastor Isaac Apo, and I'm so glad to be with you as we conclude our five part series on why Christians suffer. So far, we have looked at four reasons why Christians suffer, and these are number one, lack of knowledge, number two, disobedience, number three, to test our faith, number four, because of Jesus Christ and his word. Today, we are looking at the last one, and that reason is because God wants us to be compassionate towards those who suffer. You see, You will never understand somebody's pain unless you have experienced that pain before. This is so real and it's very difficult to say these things. Somebody will say, you don't understand what you are saying. It may be true because I have not gone there. I have not been there before. That is why the Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 4 verse 15 that we do not have a high priest who is unable to understand and sympathize and have a shared feeling with our weakness and infirmities and liabilities to the assault of temptation, but one who has been tempted in every respect as we have yet without sin. So Jesus Christ is able to help us more than anybody because all that we are going through, he has been through before. He has gone through pain before. He has gone through hunger before. He has experienced poverty before. He has experienced rejection before. So don't worry when things become tough for you. God wants you to build compassion. He wants you to be able to encourage others who are going through difficulties in life. Understand that every trial will come to an end. And understand this. Romans chapter 8 verse 28 says, All things work together for our good. Immediately we may not understand or we may not even be able to appreciate that even this pain would work together for our good. But eventually you would come to understand the goodness of God and why he allowed you to go through that. And that is to make you a compassionate person, to be able to minister to others who are also going through difficulties. You see, our pain is never wasted. It brings out compassion that reaches out to other hurting people. By saying, I've been there and God brought me out through it. And he will do the same for you. Your testimonies become powerful. Your words become powerful to change the mind of somebody who is also going through hard times. So don't give up, my dear friend. The Apostle Paul says in Philippians chapter 1, verses 12 to verse 14. Now I want you to know, brothers and sisters, that what has happened to me has actually served to advance the gospel. As a result, it has become clear throughout the whole palace guard and to everyone else that I am in chains for Christ. And because of my chains, most of my brothers and sisters have become confident in the Lord and dare all the more to proclaim the gospel without fear. Do not worry, my dear friend, when difficult times come, it is going to serve a purpose. Your pain would minister to somebody's need. God would always make sure that that all the things that happens to you, all the difficulties that you go through, they would all serve for a greater good in your life. So stand firm and don't reject God because of this pain. You will go through. You will overcome. You are fit for that. Smile, my dear friend, because all things is going to work out for your good. May God bless you today. May he shine his glorious face upon you. May he give you peace in every area of your life and may he grant you the Holy Spirit so that you will remain strong and steadfast till he comes again. In Jesus Christ's name, Amen.